Hello again, welcome again to my channel. It's actually a um this lesson for this time or this uh, video. Uh, it's just a continuation of the fertilizer computation that I have discussed previously in my previous video. So because we only discussed there the single element fertilizer, on uh we only discussed how to compute uh the fertilizers based on the single element fertilizers so we used there uh, in the competition in the previous video we used urea as the source of uh, nitrogen we used sulfos as the source of phosphate and we used uh, muriate potash as source of potash so here because i like i said there are three options in computing the fertilizer option one is uh, the use of single element fertilizers Option two is the use of uh, a combination of uh, incomplete and single element fertilizers. And option three is a combination of complete and single element fertilizers. So then in this uh, lecture video, I will show you how to compute uh, fertilizers based on the three, uh, two and three options. So... Because I already discussed to you how to compute fertilizers based uh, by using uh, single element fertilizers. Okay, so we have here uh, the fertilizer competition for combined and complete and single element fertilizers. So please uh, follow me guys. Uh, please uh, bear with me so that you can really understand how to compute fertilizer so it's, it's very basic no? so um, again the problem is still we have the same problem with the previous video that I have discussed to you so we have a problem mang ado needs to apply fertilizers in an area calling for a recommended rate of 90 kilograms nitrogen 30 kilograms phosphate and 60 kilograms potash per hectare. So here, how many kilograms of urea fertilizers will he apply when the available fertilizers are... How many kilograms of fertilizers will he apply when the available fertilizers are only urea or 4600, ammonium phosphate or 1620, and muriate of potash, which is 0060. So, here the urea contains, uh, will supply the uh, pure nitrogen needed in the field, uh, ammonium phosphate uh, contains um, pure nitrogen and phosphate. In uh, the fertilizer and more of potash contains potash okay so here we will compute again for the amount of fertilizer material so as I said in the previous video the fertilizer material that we are referring to are urea ammonia phosphate and more of potash so the formula is amount of fertilizer material in kilo or depending on the sometimes they the problem asked for sacks so we will just have to convert kilos into sacks so f amount of fertilizer uh, material is equal to recommended rate multiplied by uh, recommended rate in kilograms nutrient per hectare so it could be nitrogen it could be phosphorus or it could be uh, potassium multiplied by the area as I said uh, in the previous video you can use one hectare so in this case we will use one hectare area or you can use 0.75 you can use 1.5 or depending on the area that you um, are going to use uh, in the fertilizer computation and then percent of nutrient and fertilizer so uh, as i said in the previous video urea has 46 percent nitrogen so that's percent nutrient and fertilizer for ammonium phosphate uh, it contains 16 percent uh, nitrogen and 20 percent 
uh, phosphorus or phosphate. Okay. Next. So for step one, so actually this one is quite confusing to to most of my students, no? So first thing that you have to consider is start the calculation with the use of ammonium sulfate when computing the recommended phosphate. So as I said a while ago, ammonium sulf uh, phosphate contains nitrogen and phosphate. So since phosphate contains 20%, 20% phosphorus, we will use that first in the calculation. And later, we will determine the amount of nitrogen contained in ammonium phosphate that you are going to apply in the field. Once you get the, um, the amount of ammonium to meet 30 kilograms phosphate per hectare. So, since phosphate the um, recommended uh, rate for phosphate, uh, pure phosphate to be applied in the field is 30 kilograms phosphate per hectare. So we will use 30 kilograms phosphate per hectare to compute for the ammonium phosphate. Multiplied by 1 hectare because we are using 1 hectare area divided by 0.2 because uh, ammonium phosphate contains 20% of phosphorus or phosphate. So 30 divided by 0 0.2 is equals to 150 kilos. So now, we got a total amount of ammonium phosphate to be applied in the field. So to apply, to, to meet the required a phosphate per hectare, we are going to apply 150 kilograms of ammonium phosphate. So then, because we already meet the required phosphate in 1 hectare by computing the amount of ammonium, fertilizer, ammonium phosphate fertilizer, then the fertilizer requirement of a phosphate requirement is met. So we already have zero. But because ammonium phosphate contains also nitrogen, not only phosphate. So we still have to compute how much phosphate, uh, how much nitrogen does ammonium phosphate contains when we apply 150 kilograms ammonium phosphate in the field. So that's why we put here question mark so that because we are, we are still going to, up, to determine how much nitrogen is, was applied or will be applied if you apply 150 kilograms of ammonium sulfate, uh, phosphate in 1 hectare. So then, we will compute for the amount of pure nitrogen contained in the amount of ammonium phosphate that you will apply in the field. So, because we, in the previous slide, we were able to come up with 100 kilos of ammonium phosphate to be applied in the field to meet 30 kilograms phosphate per hectare. So, now, we will uh, determine the amount of pure nitrogen in ammonium phosphate. So, then, because we arrived in 150 kilogram ammonium phosphate to be applied in 1 hectare, so we will multiply 0.16 because ammonium phosphate contains 16% N. So, we arrived in the um, weight of 24 kilos. So, meaning, when we are going to apply 150 kilograms ammonium phosphate in 1 hectare, we are also applying 20 kilograms nitrogen in the field. Okay? So, when we apply... 150 kilograms ammonium phosphate with a 16% nitrogen, we are applying 24 kilos of nitrogen, pure nitrogen, apart from 30 kilos of pure phosphate. Okay, so then because we already 
took the um, the the amount of pure n in ammonium phosphate then it we will um, subtract this to, uh, from 90 so from the recommended rate uh, uh, of nitrogen so 90 minus 24 then we still have to look for 60 we still have to meet no 60 kilogram uh, 66 kilograms of your nitrogen per hectare okay so this one was not met by applying uh, ammonium phosphate in the field no 100 kilos of ammonium phosphate in the field so we still have to look for uh, we still have to meet no the required uh, the remaining 66 kilograms nitrogen per hectare Okay, so next we have to compute for the recommended nitrogen, the remaining recommended nitrogen. So 66 kilograms nitrogen per hectare. So to meet this, to meet the remaining recommended rate, we will use urea. So urea has 46% nitrogen. So if we convert that into decimal point, then it is 0.46. So, amount of urea is equals to 66 kilos nitrogen per hectare. That's the remaining recommended rate. Multiplied by 1 hectare divided by 0.46. Then, we arrived at 143.48 kilos of urea to meet the 66 kilogram nitrogen uh, or the 66 kilogram nitrogen remaining in the recommended rate. So, that's 143.48 kilos to meet 66 kilograms pure nitrogen that is left to be computed to meet the recommended rate of 90 kilograms nitrogen per hectare. So, did you follow? I hope you guys are following. So, please uh, bear with me as I go along. And then, step 4. We will compute for the remaining recommended for potash or potassium. So the recommended rate for potassium is 60 kilograms potash per hectare. So here we will compute for, sorry, not the amount of urea but amount of potash, uh, amount of moriet of potash, sorry. This one is amount of moriet of potash and not urea. So, 60 kilograms um, potash divided by uh, more, uh, 60 kilograms potash per hectare multiplied by 1 hectare divided by 0.6 because more of potash contains 60% potassium or potash. So, we arrived in uh, an amount of more of potash in, uh, of 100 kilos. So, the amount of more of potash Again, sorry, it's not amount of urea but amount of moriet of potash. Yes, in 1 hectare is 100 kilos. To meet the required uh, potash content uh, potash content in 1 hectare. Uh, potash requirement, I mean. To meet the potash requirement in 1 hectare. So, that's 100 kilos. So, therefore... Mang Ado, to summarize, needs the following fertilizers in 1 hectare. So, 100 kilograms of 1620-0. And then, 143.5 kilograms of 4600 or urea. And 100 kilograms of 0060 or more yet of potash. So, by applying this, Combination of fertilizers, incomplete and single element fertilizers, the ammonium phosphate, urea, and moriet of potash, we will able to meet the required nutrient requirement or uh, fertilizer rate of 90 kilograms nitrogen, 30 kilograms phosphorus or phosphate, and 60 kilograms potash in one hectare okay i hope you get it or you got the the process 
So, this is simple actually if you are following my explanation. So, next one, we have the computation of fertilizers using the combined complete and single element fertilizer. So, this is the last option that we will discuss. Okay. So, the same, uh, the same problem again. So, Mang Ado needs to apply fertilizers in an area calling for a recommended rate of 90, 30, 60 kilogram NPK per hectare. So, how many kilograms of fertilizers will he apply when the available fertilizers are only urea uh, and then complete fertilizers and more of potash? So, here... The fertilizer material that we are going to um, use is urea, uh, complete fertilizers, and muriate of potash. Sorry, my my room here is uh, quite warm. So, I, I'm not using my electric fan because it will distort my um, lecture to you but, uh, when I am recording. So, the fertilizer material that I used uh, that we will use, it will be urea, complete fertilizer, or triple 14, and marieta potash, which is 0, 0, 060. So, the formula still is the recommended rate in kilogram nutrient per hectare multiplied by the area that you are going to use. You can use 1 hectare, you can use 0.5, you can use 0.75, you can use 1.5. And then, Percent of nutrient and fertilizer material. So we have urea, 46%. Complete fertilizers, 14% uh, nitrogen, 14% phosphate, 14% potash. And for more of potash, we have 60% potash. Okay, for to meet the recommended rate of 90, 30, 60 kilogram NPK per hectare, we are going to start with the step one. Yo, so, we will start the calculation with the use of triple 14. So, when you are using complete fertilizer, take note. You have to use first in the computation, you are, you, are, how you have to start first the computation with the use of triple 14 because it contains three elements. The nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So, begin the computation from the lowest recommended rate. So, we have here the lowest recommended rate encircled in yellow. So, since the recommended, the re lowest recommended rate is 30 kil kilogram phosphate per hectare. So, we will use that in the computation to look for the amount of triple 14 that we are going to apply in the field. So, the amount of triple 14 is equals to 30 kilogram NPK per hectare because we are applying triple 14. So, when we are applying triple 14, we are providing, uh, we, the, the fertilizer triple 14 contains triple, uh, uh, the three uh, fertilizer elements, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So, that's why 30 kilogram NPK per hectare. So, multiplied by 1 hectare or 0.5 or 1.5 or 2. So, it depends on your area that you are going to use. Divided by 0.14 because triple 14 contains 14%. Nitrogen, 14% phosphorus and 14% potassium. So, we arrived in this amount. So, the amount of uh, triple 14 that you are going to use to meet uh, 30 kilogram NPK per hectare, you will have to apply 214.3 kilograms of triple 14. So, by applying the triple 14, so we were able to zero in uh, phosphate requirement. And, but we still have to compute for the remaining recommended rate of nitrogen, which is 60 kilogram nitrogen per hectare. And for fos, uh, potash, 30 kilogram potash per hectare. 
So in this case, to meet this require the remaining requirement, we will use single fertilizer elements. So for step two, compute for the remaining n. So you can either uh, compute first the remaining potassium or you can compute first for the remaining n. It depends on you because we are only using single element fertilizer. So uh, here in this uh, process, I started with n because I would like to have it uh, in order. So... I will compute for the remaining recommended rate, which is 60 kg nitrogen per hectare with the use of urea. So since urea has 46% nitrogen in a sack, so then it's 0.46 because we converted percent into decimal point before we are going to divide. So 60 kg nitrogen per hectare multiplied by 1 hectare divided by 0.46 we arrived in the amount of urea to be applied will be 130.4 kilo, kilograms. So that's the amount of urea to be applied in the field to meet the remaining recommended rate not supplied by triple 14. So we need to apply 130.4 kilos of urea. Okay, so that's step two. So, we were able to meet the required amount of nitrogen or pure nitrogen to be applied in the field because we were able to have it to zero it in. So, the remaining amount uh, or the remaining recommended rate that we uh, still have to compute is uh, the potash. No? That's 30 kilogram potash per hectare. So, for step 3, we are, we are going to compute for the remaining potash, no? potash requirement. So, 30 kg is the remaining potash requirement per hectare. So, the amount of market of potash is equals to 30 kg potash per hectare multiplied by 1 hectare divided by 0.6 because market of potash has 60% potash in one sack. So, we arrived in the total amount of marit of potash to be applied in the field together with uh, triple 14 is 50 kilograms. So, that's the amount of marit of potash that we need to meet the remaining uh, recommended rate for potash which is 30 kilogram potash per hectare. So, that's 50 kilograms of marit of potash. So, therefore, in summary, Mang Ado needs the following fertilizers in a hectare. So, 214.3 kilos of triple 14, 130.4 kilos of urea of 4600, and 50 kilos of moriet of potash or 0060. So, I hope, guys, you were able to... Um, understand the process i hope my dear students you are going you uh were able to um understand also the process that i have discussed and when you are going to discuss your own uh, computation you are now guided how to do so so sorry for those who were able to upload um their videos already but you can also change that later if you want but for those uh, who are not yet able to compute, uh, to to compute or to do their activity, you 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 can watch this video again, and this will guide you on how to compute your the fertilizer problem that I gave you in the Google Classroom. So I hope everyone, uh, for those farmers or other students who are uh, able to, who are able to watch this video I hope this uh, this video lecture um, that I have discussed uh, was able to give you more insights about fertilizer competition and were was able to give you um, the skill on how to become expert in computing fertilizers in the farm without the help of any technicians okay so, for the students, it's actually a skill if you know this already. 
So, again, to learn, gain more learning in soil science and organic agriculture, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for future videos. Enjoy learning and God bless. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you.